Hey guys, it's your boy Fisk on here on another video on Kenshi. I'm sorry for the mic quality. I'm recording with the onboard uh, microphone from the Steam Deck. I'm currently in desktop mode solely so that I can use OBS and record this gameplay at the same time. Uh, usually I play Kenshi in gaming mode, right? Where you just just like kind of like the switch menu, but for Steam, and I just started up right there, and I play like that. But um, I recently hooked up the dock to a monitor and a keyboard and a mouse, and I found that it's super simple. So there might be some performance impact from the fact that we're running OBS and recording with that, but um, we're on the Steam desktop. And I think the first thing we'll go over is the controller layout. And for whatever reason, I can't move it from the screen I have it on. So we're just going to display it like that. So with the Steam Deck hooked up right now, I have two displays because I want to run Kenshi at 1080p versus the native display. So to do that, I've got two displays running. One's 1080 and then one's the Steam Deck. And here you can see my current layout. I accidentally, oh no, it fixed itself. Oh, it unfixed itself again. So I have a the left direct pad set to radial menu. And then all the rest is standard with this Kenshi binding 1.4 co-core. So all I have on the radial menu on the left here is that I have added the speeds for normal speed, faster speed, and fastest, as well as save and pause. And quite, if we go over here and we look, so we go up here, templates, community layout, then we select the original. This left trackpad is just a duplicate of the directional pad and so it's like free key binds right there there's this up to like 20 or something along those lines right so you can do a lot with those extra keys and i would recommend you do just that anyways let's get back to the the actual game now that we've had a peek at the hot keys and how i play when i'm using the interface for the steam deck right now we're docked though so we can use a keyboard and a mouse and i do play with mods You'll notice I have compressed textures, but when we run it through um, docked mode while recording, I'd argue that the fact that we're recording and have compressed textures, they cancel each other out when it comes to benefits versus loss versus gain, right? I've noticed the loading, the main difference I've noticed while running in desktop mode in 1080p is loading times are a little longer. It's really unfortunate you guys can't hear the audio. So this isn't gonna be like a scientific bench test or anything like that. I just figure everyone that plays Kenshi knows what happens when you take a character and run them across the map at max speed you get loading screens. So I'm going to show you what that's like docked with two monitors recording with OBS. And um, there was one more thing. I can't remember what it was. Basically, you're on Steam Deck docked. When I play it handheld, I don't really feel an impact at all. Quite frankly, there is, there is no difference besides learning a new layout. I think we'll go to the hub first. And the main advantage here is if you're there, the main question here is if you're thinking of get getting Kenchi and playing it on the Steam Deck, I tell you to do it. If you want to use a keyboard and mouse, set up the dock, use the keyboard and mouse, and then you want to chill on the couch where I spend. That's where I spend a lot of my time playing Kenchi is just on the couch. Uh, do it because you get a nice a nice keyboard layout or I'm sorry a hot key layout and you're set I uh, spent 30 40 hours playing mobile I guess you could call it and it worked great I would turn off the Wi-Fi and my buddy would play on my PC while I played on the couch and it, it's a good experience it's there's no real impact playing mobile that I found I guess the only impact would be the time it takes to act on my decisions, right? If you play Kenshi, you know, you pause a lot and then you make your movements or decisions when they're tense moments. And that took a little longer to do. 
but it didn't it didn't impact my personal gameplay. I still enjoyed the gameplay. I put in 30, 40 hours just playing like that. But with the dock, you know, you're playing, let's say you get up from one place in Kenshi, you just start on PC and you're like, oh, I'm gonna lay down. All you do is pull it off, play some Kenshi, laying down on the couch. I mean, that was just a short run from what's that place called? Swin to the hub. So it wasn't long. Again, the loading screen was a little long. But we'll go over to um I can't remember the name. My memory's terrible. We'll run over there next. And I think this takes us through the Holy Nation. We are. Hopefully the cannibals don't eat us. Um last time I tried to record, it went poorly. <laughs> I made it barely. Good one. I don't know why you're running back and forth, bud. Make a decision. You just try and get his athletics up. That's all it was. Sorry if the mic quality is bad. Um, hopefully the video quality is decent at least. I tried to up it from the last video when it comes to um, recording. You won't see the last video, but um, I just didn't like the way it looked. I will tell you now, though, the fan's running noticeably harder, and I think that has more to do with OBS than it does with Kenshi. I'll tell you what, when I'm running from place to place in portable, I do notice that there's not, I don't do a ton. Again, you can just switch characters and manage another character, but I have this I, I feel verified fear of switching characters while my guy's running across the map because they'll get picked up by bandits or cannibals or whatever. So I always watch them run. I'd argue probably the hardest thing about switching between dock and portable. I, I don't know what call it. They call, I think it's called gaming mode, technically, when you're in the handheld. Handheld. Between docked and handheld is that um, remembering your separate layouts is probably the hardest part. Well, I guess we didn't pass through the Holy Nation. I don't go there frequently. They don't like the skeletons. I think a good bench test would probably be running the because I have the 256 recruit mod, but I haven't gotten 200 recruits. I'm still working on getting my base established. And that's just because I'm like, uh, I, I don't know how to describe it. My gameplay is slower. I don't advance too quickly just because I like to take it slow, I guess. I, I generally do all my research to up to level three when you start requiring ancient books and stuff like that before I even consider making a base and then I acquire all my recruits and I find a location and pick a game plan. <laughs> Now's the moment of truth. Mongol. That's the name. It's a lot of loading screens or uh, loading points. And this is not using cryo utilities. Um, I have seen that and it looks like it does vastly improve gameplay. I'm not sure what the impact for Kenshi would be. I'm kind of curious. I want to try it with Kenshi and Space Engineers as well. But we'll just have to wait. Any good stuff? Any good stuff? Last time I got murked, I got mobbed by like. 20 cannibals. I thought I would be safe. Silly me. Figured they don't want to eat a skeleton, but it was wrong. 
Oh, ran straight to the gatehouse. Where is my boy B? There's another guy. There he is. Now we got beat. Jump over here real quick. See what the loading screen is. Or see how it is. Sorry guys, it's three in the morning. I don't know why I just decided to uh, record a video. I feel like the biggest hurdle for the Steam Deck right now is generally a lot of these games, they can be played with generic layouts. But if you really take the time to customize them, you're going to unlock a lot of playability. And that's that's really the wall here is how much time do you want to invest in creating your layout? Not, that was a pretty decent load time. I'd argue it's it's not that long normal in normal gameplay. But um, yeah, guys. I'm going to cut it off there. There's not much else to really show that I can show right now. I don't have a ton of recruits. But um, that's the gameplay docked mode while recording with OBS with two monitors while playing at 1080p. It might not look like that to you guys, but to me it's 1080p. I don't really notice too much of a quality difference when I play on handheld. But... Um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I hope this helped you make a decision on whether Kenshi would be worth your time because honestly, it really is. You guys should give it a shot. And if you don't have it, I definitely recommend buying the game. 100% great experience. Don't save load because that really kills the experience. Suffer the consequences for your actions. It's worth it.